Okay, we're pretty much done with the front end and now let's look into the admin pages. Let's go back to the app.js and insert here where we have app.use slash require server route main. I'm thinking that we can add separate route for the admin pages. So what I'm going to do is all shift down and then I'm going to do app.use and instead of putting all of the routes to be as admin, I want to be a little bit more flexible and choose what route goes where. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So route, and in this case, we're going to call this one admin. Save this. Of course, we don't have this route yet. So we're going to go to the server route, and then I'm going to create another one called admin.js. For the admin routes, let's set up the basics so I can go back to the main.js here and copy some of the stuff from here. So for example, we need to copy the express, the router, and the post model. We also need to export the router. So to do this, we can go back here and copy this one here. And we are good to go. Let me also copy a comment like this one here. And now we should be good to go. Also, let's go back here and copy this page. So we have a basic router that we can use. And let's put it inside here. I'm going to remove everything. And this is going to be the admin router where we're going to log in. So router.get, and this is going to be slash admin like so. We are also going to be rendering a page. Let me remove this. So this is going to be admin. And then I'm going to put it inside the try. And then res.render, I'm going to render a page called admin and then index. All right, so let's create a new layout for the admin pages. And also let's create the home page. So the login page in this case, and I'm going to remove the data as we don't have any yet. So this is going to be a get and it's going to be admin dash login page like so. Awesome. So let's go back to the views. I'm going to create a new folder. Maybe we can call it admin. And this is where we're going to store all the admin pages. And also for, and also for the admin layout, I'm going to create a different one. So I'm going to copy all of this and create a new layout. Let's call it admin.ejs. And inside here, let's paste the HTML and let's see what can be different. So essentially, all I want to change is the header because the header is going to be a little bit different. Maybe we can remove the search from here and let's change the header. So maybe we can do header underscore admin and we can create that as well. So let me close that. Let me close this and let's create a new partial. So header, I'm going to copy the whole header from here and let's create a new one. Header underscore admin dot EJS. Let's paste them and let's modify it super quickly. So the logo can be admin panel. We can keep the home about and contact pages. I don't really mind, but instead of a search button here, we're going to have a logout button. So I'm going to remove everything and just put log out. We don't need the error expanded now, and we don't need the search class here. Like so. Instead, we can do, no, we'll just keep it like this. So that's going to be it. So let's save this. Let's save this. If we go back to the admin route here, the only one that we have at the moment, we need to tell it which layout to render. So what I'm going to do to make it easy on this, I'm going to create a global cons here. So cons, and I'm going to call it admin layout. And this admin layout is going to be equals the directory. So dot dot slash views slash layout and then slash admin. And now I can use this directory to put it inside here so I can pass layout. And then we can set the custom layout in here which is going to be the admin layout for this page. So technically speaking, we should be able to go to this index page, which we haven't created under admin. Let's create or index page index.ejs. And by the way, you can call this login or whatever you like. It doesn't really matter. And let's just put h3 inside here and let's see. And let's put sign in. Let's see if this works. So if you go back to the website, refresh, everything is working. And now if I do slash admin, you will see that we're getting failed to look up views layout admin in directory. Okay, let's have a look. And this is purely because I've put view instead of views. 
let's go back refresh and now we have the admin as you can see we have admin panel now we still have the links here and instead we have a logout button and if i go back to the home page everything else is the same as before so let's go to admin all right let's go back to the admin page here and let's finish that super quickly so we're going to have the login form and then this form is going to have an action of admin and then a method of post like so inside this form we're going to have a label which is going to be a label for username or email you can have whatever you wish and this is going to be bold let's do username we're going to have an input and this input is going to be the type of text. Placeholder is going to be enter username. And the name is going to be very important. So when we pass the data, we want to pass the data as username. Like so. And now we can copy this. Paste in here. And this is going to be password. The type is going to be password placeholder is going to be enter password and the name is going to be password and the last thing that we need inside here is the is the submit button so this is going to be an input and then the type of submit the value is going to be set to login and i'm going to give it a class name of btn to make it look a little bit more presentable let's refresh and we have a very basic sign in. I wasn't planning to do register for this uh, website, but we can also do that uh, temporary. Then I will remove it just so you know how to do it. So I'm going to do another form here. And this is going to be the register form. So for the register is going to be very similar. Register instead. And then we're going to have the username, the password and this is going to be the value of register okay all right that's absolutely fine so we have the sign in and the register inside here and then we'll remove the register once we are done with it now the first thing that we need to do is we need to just like we have post in here we need to create another table of data for the users so let's do that that means that we need to create a new model so just like we have post in here we're gonna do all shift down and do user and this is going to be the user model and now we need to create it let's go to the models posts and in fact we could copy most of it from here and do user.js so inside here we're going to change a couple of things so i'm going to remove those in fact remove all of them and then instead of so let's start from the top schema is fine instead of post schema this is going to be user schema and we're going to export this as user schema and then instead of post we're going to put this as user like so and then we just need to modify the field so for example we're going to have a username this is going to be the type of string that's fine it's going to be required and then we need to set this one to unique true like so and then i'm going to do one more and in fact i'm going to copy this and this is going to be the password so for the password we can remove the unique and we should be good to go save this and all user schema is ready so let's remove that let's remove that we've already added the user schema here which means that we can start using it all right if we go back to the admin index.ejs inside here as you can see we have a form which has the action of admin. So we're going to have to create this route, which is going to be a post route. And what we want to do is we want to grab the username and the password data, and then we want to check whether they're in the database. I'll show you what I mean. So if you go back, we need to create another route. I'm going to copy this, and inside here, we're going to set this to post, and then admin, maybe check login. Let's do a basic one, and then we'll make it a little bit more complex. So this is going to be the router. Uh, in fact, can we copy this? Let's see. We can copy this one here. Let's paste this and let's change it. So this is going to be post. And this is going to be admin. Just like so. So we're getting this one is get. This one is post. Just so you know the difference. We don't need this now. This is an asynchronous function. It's all good. 
And now we can build a very basic logic. So the logic here is that we can get the username and the password from the form. So const, and then inside here, we can do username and then password. And now this is going to be equals request.body, like so. Now, if you console log this, the log, and then if you put uh, request.body, let's put, so we can get both. And then the render index, that should be fine. Let's do that. So if you go back to the page, refresh, and if we do login, you will see that the thing is spinning. And instead of rest.render in this case, I'm going to do a redirect. So let's do rest.redirect. And then inside here, we're going to do admin, just for now, just for testing purposes. So what I'm going to do now is go back, refresh, and I'm going to put rat and password. If we log in, nothing happens. It just refreshes. And now if I go to the command line, you will see that we're getting username of rat and password of password. Cool. So we're definitely getting the fields, the field names here, and we can use them for the login. I'm going to do something to show you how it's going to work. So first of all, we need to check if we get the request.body username, which we have here. Let's say if this was equals admin. And then let's say we check the password as well. So request.body.password is equals password we might want to redirect to i don't know whatever page we want to redirect let's say the home page it doesn't really matter for now or in fact we can do res dot send and then you are you're logged in okay by the way don't do this i'm just showing you a super quickie how the login is going to work and then we can do else res dot send and then wrong wrong username and password right this is the basic idea how this is going to work obviously we're gonna hook it up to the database but now if i go back and if i refresh let's put something like da123 you will see that we're getting a wrong username or password inside here but now we've put oops i've zoomed in quite a lot if i put admin and if i put password and if I click login, you will see that we're getting logged in. So we're going to do a very similar thing, but using the database and using cookies in order to save the session. So you stay logged in and so on.